I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and customize your business hours on your Google business listing. Now if you do not have a Google business listing I have a tutorial for you it is linked down below. Once you are ready to go let's get started. So here we are on Google Business. How I got here is I typed in business.google.com in my URL. And if you do not see your business listed here and you've already claimed it, you may be logged into a different Google account. To verify the Google account that you are logged in as, just drag your mouse over your profile picture here and it will show you which email address you're logged in as, which Google account you're logged in as. If you need to switch, you might have, uh, you might be able to click on your profile picture and then you would see your other Google account in the drop down, or you can just log into it and you can switch between your accounts um, in the future. So once you have that all set up, you are going to click on your business name. And then in the left sidebar here, we are going to click info. So down here, you'll notice that there are these two separate places for your hours. Now we're going to start with this one and I'll show you the difference between the two. So it's very simple. Basically, you just click on the toggle to set the days that you're open and then you set your hours. So let's say that you're open 24 hours. You can change it to that. Or if you have specific hours, you can set your specific hours. And I'm just going to cancel that and then click apply. But let's say that you have different hours throughout the day. So let's say that you're a restaurant and you have a lunch set of hours and a dinner set of hours. You take a break in between. We'll go back to where we were and you may notice that you could add hours here. You can definitely do that. But another option is to go down to more hours here. And this allows you to add more specific descriptions of your hours. So for example, you can type lunch and then these would be all of your lunch hours. We're just doing random hours here. And then continue. So then under lunch, you would see all of your hours here. And then for dinner, So this is how it would look. And if you want to go back and edit that, just keep clicking on the pencils. So if you're not sure which menu, <laughs> which list of hours you're at, sorry, the whole restaurant theme, you'll see the type, the, um, the category up here. So notice that everything that you do on Google does go under review. So it will it usually takes less than 24 hours and then this will this will no longer be grayed out. So now that we have our hour set, you'll notice that this third additional option popped up. This is add special hours. This feature is phenomenal because it means that you can set if you're going to be closed on a day when you'd normally be open. So let's say that Christmas falls on a Thursday and you're usually open on Thursdays, but you're going to be closed for Christmas. What you can do is you can select the date. Of course, I pick one at the end of the year. We'll do Christmas Eve. And then you can set, like let's say it's Christmas Eve and you're gonna be open for more limited hours than what you normally are. You can set those here or you can set closed. So you can go pretty far in advance with these special hours. So it's super handy to do this in January of every year and just set all of your holidays. Like if you have special hours on Easter, if you're closed on Thanksgiving, it's just good to do all of that ahead of time so you don't have to worry. And that way, if people are wondering if you're open, they can Google and see that you're closed on that day and then they'll know. Whereas a lot of businesses leave their Google business hours the same. They don't change them. So some people may show up to their businesses expecting them to be open and they're not. And that's really frustrating. So I'm just going to click cancel on that. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it.
If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope this tutorial helped. And if you are looking for even more tips and tricks on marketing and growing your business, please check out my Marketing 101 online course. I've linked to it down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.